Epe Blink, you are welcome.
Freedom Freedom Freedom, 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 Freedom 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 All right, people of uh, Ambazonia, it is, uh, we have exactly five, 500 views. So we go, we go, we go begin, we, we, we go begin this show, this show officially. So my brothers, them, my mommy, them, my papa, them for inside the Federal Republic of Ambazonia, where we first know them, like the former British Southern Cameroons. My sister them, my brothers them, my uncle them, at the Senuna greetings from this side way a day. Today, na the seventh of October, I want to apologize. I want to apologize. Say, I no be come live for morning like I be talk. Because I be I be talk yesterday. Say yesterday I was two times live yesterday for afternoon and for evening. And I be promise say I will come live for morning. But when I go up for bed, I be see and say, my brother Eric Tato, he only day life, and Kapo too, they, they be day life, they be talk same issue. So I be just give space for say, make I not come live, make I just update to the way it happen. And so that's so, I don't update updating now. But I think say, before, before we end the day, before the day comes to an end, at least make I, may, make I come live, I come, I come, I come give a vote of thanks. A vote of thanks for all my way for ground zero. All ambassadors, all my for ground zero for all the 13 counties. And especially to our registration forces. And the one the way they be key them today for Bamenda. And today we don't see and say they be key too for hospital run about for Bamenda. The brave ones. The highway General Ivo, if we talk for, for sorry, audio, and I want to use that word. If we talk, say, the brave ones, them, the good ones, them, now they, they die. Now they, they go. So the, the good ones, them, are going. The brave ones are dying. They, they, they go. So before we start this show, I want to say, make we give a minute of silence to those our two brave fighters where they die for Bamenda. One way it died for Batibo, I just see and through online. And any other one way it, it died today, we will not know. We go out for go defend a land where it died today, we will not know. And especially to that Papa, Papa Francis 
from Songwa. Where he managed to go for a house. He got bunny. We'll see the, the, the picture with the bunny. So today we will give a minute of silence for all them. Where they don't give their life for this revolution. And all those who don't go before us back with a sign of faith. A minute of silence. May the souls of all the faithfuls, of all our restoration forces, our parents, our brothers and sisters, civilians who have gone before us, mark with a sign of faith, let them rest in peace and let them continue to look upon us, those of us that we are fortunate to be alive. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. My people, when I don't join this show, I thank you very much as when I don't join again for we, for end the day. Yesterday, I become live and I be tell all man say, we revolution, we're not gonna prosecute this revolution, depending on how we the Republic want to make we prosecute them. We will say we we'll go prosecute the revolution according to our terms, According to our means and according to our ways. And we don't see trade happen today. So whatever will happen for inside La Republic it come, though we are monitoring and we are observing, but we don't really care because nothing changes. That is why today I don't come today for call the people them for Bokwango. People then for Bwasa, for Sase, for Tole, for Moliko, for my 16, for Abesbukong Avenue, for Ekona, for Muyenge, for Ikata, for Mutengene, for Tiko Victoria, in and out, for Kumba. Every site for Kumba, where na Kosalao, na Uza Pataso, na Fiango, na Boya Road, na Bonge Road, oh, where na Soba Skito, na Kosala. Or na mato. People then for inside Manfe. All for inside Manu. They want them for Lebi Alem. They want them for Nguti. They want them for Mzian. Bangem. Tombel. They want them for, for inside Northern Zone. People then for Santa for Pinyin. People then for Mezam for Wum. For Widikum. Batibo. For Ngi. For Njikwa. For Esu. Fondu, from Kambe, from Jakiri, from Tatum, from Biame, from Kumbo. All the 13 counties where they did for Amazonia, for Ekondo Titi, everywhere. I want to send special greetings to you people. And today, when I don't succeed, when I don't succeed for tell the world, Say you people want out. I just send greetings for one way. The day for out of Ambazonia. Our brothers and sisters in the Republic. The one in for Nigeria. The one in for Berlin. For Germany. For Belgium. For USA. For Canada. For South Africa. For Thailand. For Russia. Everywhere across the world. When they watch me now. When I come good. I don't come today for can give a vote of thanks a vote of thanks to all Amazonians a vote of thanks to all the activists a vote of thanks to all our leaders especially a mighty 1005% vote of thanks to all people heading for ground zero you where you will stay for house you where you get our message. You where you stay for house. You lock yourself a house. And you sit there inside house. And at the talk now so. We want to give you a vote of thanks. For listening to the voice of reason. Now, by the way today we see and say. We don't get less cash casualties. And you see and say. The poor they die today. Now Amber boys and die. For, for Bermuda. Two Amber boys they kill them. For Batibo, the key one. 
Those, those are the three ways we know. Apart from that, the other people where they're going to go kill them today, now a father, a grandpa, where they have a house, Papa Francis for Songwa, the bunny house, and they kill that papa. So when I, when I see and say, because uh, when I listen to the voice of reason, nobody went out, will not get any civilian casualties, will not get any confrontations, because our forces, them, the armor boys, them, they may be out for ensure so may nothing not happen. So we don't see and say for once now, we're not supposed to trust the voices of our armor boys. We don't to trust the voices of our leadership. We don't to trust the voices of our activists. When they come out to reinforce the position of armor boys, or when they come out to reinforce the position of leadership. Now so we're going to take them for win. So today, we say people get power. People power plenty. If we have one time, we will still go out today on our numbers and go vote. But we will recognize the fact say if we, if we not go out and go vote, we will go to give authority for any man with the elected or with the put the president of the Republic. But today, going forward, we don't show the world say no party, no campaign for Amazonia. Apart from CP, the way they do campaign under very tight security once or twice. We don't show the world say campaign in no hope for Amazonia. We don't show the world say there was nobody there to tell us what, what we want. We don't show the world say we not take part in their vote. So therefore, we don't today officially for officially declare any person where one get authority over Amazonia. We don't declare that person illegitimate. And today, for the first time since we, our parents, them, they take us to go pull it for a union. Now today, we, for the first time, we don't give a referendum. We call it an unofficial referendum. That referendum today, we don't pass that referendum. And we don't officially talk, say, anything where it will look like, say, that union, where it will be even there. We don't, we don't go. And today we don't we really tell the world say no man no get authority over our land. Today all the men's are there, the big men's are there, they don't take their eye, they don't take their eye, they see and say the people of Amazonia they actually want to be on their own. We don't show them in, in many forms, we don't tell the world in many forms, we don't do them in many, in many, many, many other ways. But today again, we don't again show them. We don't show them officially say we don't want to be part. We want to be on our own. But you know, say like in every situation, we always get bad belay them. We always get black legs them. We always get people where they disagree. That is why we also officially we recognize the fact say today some anglophones them. They, 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 despite the, the, the order, they went out to vote. We recognize that fact. And the fact that they went out to vote, it even illegitimized this, because today we don't declare, say, today the unofficial referendum. The fact that they went out to vote, it even at the end of the day, it gives us a very mighty legitimacy. Say, yes, indeed, some people's voices were heard. Those who went out to vote in their very 0.011% minority, they don't make their own voice head say they want to be part of Cameroon. But the overwhelming majority, 99.9%, don't tell the world say they want to go out. So today, we declare today the first referendum after 1961 referendum. We don't give the first referendum today after 1961 referendum. And so today, I want to officially thank all those also. For Amazonia, where they will take their two legs, them they go out for police station for, for go vote. We thank you plenty for making us for making the referendum to be because there is no referendum with one percent. There is no way we, we could have a hundred percent, a hundred percent boycott. No way. It happens nowhere. Nowhere in the world. No way. I want to thank officially all those who went out to vote. This part that you went out to vote with the barrel of the gun. This part that in those polling stations, they were largely scanty, they were empty. But you praise the earth. So thank you 
for breaking the earth. Thank you for moving even, even with the security. You told the world that today was a referendum day. And thank you for making our voice louder. You see, they say, when the Lord, when the Lord wants to make someone mad, you know, the person, the Lord gives you actions that you be like a fool. We said total 1%. So, now, those who that will claim that we, we, we get threats, no, no, no. We, 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 we do not threaten. If we threaten, we will not have people that went out to vote. So, it was a matter of choice. We do not threaten. We threaten no one. No one else was intimidated. So today we can tell the world that despite the fact that we said people should stay home, over 98.9% stayed home, but some under phones still went out to, to cast their vote. So thank you for those who went out to cast that vote. You have officially said you have to be part of Cameroon. But majority of us, we have told ourselves that we are staying out of Cameroon. We have told ourselves that we do not want part of this union. And because it is a democracy, those who went out to vote, can you now come back home? Can you now accept the fact that people went out? Today, I'm very sober. I will not come out there to, to, to condemn you, to shout at you, or to, or, or to pass an order, or to, or to make people to, to, to get you. I have come out to thank you and let your conscience, let your conscience judge you that you do not only betray the people of Southern Cameroon, you do not only betray Ayodhya of Stabbe in jail, you do not only betray Mancho BBC, you do not betray thousands who have been murdered, you do not betray those who were in the bushes, you do not betray those who have been buried, you do not betray the massacre going on, you you have betrayed yourself. You have betrayed your generation. You have betrayed your name. You have betrayed your family. For you have helped to legitimize another seven years of Paul Beer. Because you know, behold, that despite the fact that we said no voting, despite the fact of the sham election, you know and you are aware that Paul Beer will win. And some of you have been out on Medza. And you have said this thing that there was no reason. So thank you very much. And we are going to allow your consciences to judge you. You may claim that it is your opinion to write. But in another way, we are thanking you. We are thanking you. We are thanking you for, 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 for making that official. So I will now leave you and go back to those on ground zero. All our mommy them. All our papa them. When they stay home, we give you a mighty congratulation. We thank you. You see and say today there was no civilian death apart from the Papa, the Papa Francis from Songwa. When they go for a house, they don't burn the house, they burn it inside. But the people who they die today, those Abba boys who they die for Bamenda, when they die for Batibo, they are our heroes. And we want to pay them homage that three of them, three of them today, they went, they went out to, to defend statehood and they fell on the barrel of the gun and the rest continued on so we want to thank all amber boys all our restoration forces whether you are adf whether you are sukadev whether you are tigers whether you are ara whatever name you have you are all amber boys you are all Amazonian fighters. You are all self-defense forces. You are all restoration forces. You have done well today. You have put the flag of Amazonia up. And today, your humble servant, Mark Barretta, I have come out today on behalf of the People's Platform. And if the leadership of the Southern Cameroon, if they permit me, on behalf of the leadership, I want to say congratulations. I want to say thank you. I want to say the revolution continues because today is just like any other activity like we had 20th May boycott, 11 February boycott. It's just an activity. Uh, today is just an activity, but today it is it's important. Though it is an activity, it, it is important because we have used the activity to give an, of, an unofficial referendum to tell the world that we don't want, that we are a separate people. 
We have said it over and over. We said it last year when we came, when we came out in our numbers to march. We said it again on the 5th of October when our people came out. We have said it in many, many, many ways. But the world don't listen. But thank God that Paul Bia to, today, which is a lecker, they have been able to allow the world to see that there was a 98.99% boycott of the elections by the people of the former British Southern Cameroons, people who call themselves Amazonians. And despite the boycott, that indeed some Amazonians still braced the odds and went out to, 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 to cast their vote. And when they cast their vote, they are saying yes to one Cameroon. They are saying yes to Paul Bia. They are saying yes to the one Cameroon and, them, and we, we, we want to say, we want to thank them for, for, for doing that because they have legitimized them. They have legitimized our, our, our words. They have given us more talking points to tell the world that Nobody stayed home because they were intimidated. Nobody stayed home. They recognize the fact that it is a war. And when it's a war, everyone thinks of his or her own safety. Because other boys are out there to confront the regime. Not to confront civilians. And civilians and Amazonians, they have recognized the fact that it is a war of independence. And because it is a war of independence, they have choose their safety over above anything. They have choose to, 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 to stand with the people of Southern Cameroon. They choose to stand with the leadership of Southern Cameroon's Amazonia. They choose to stand with the Southern Cameroon self-defense forces, the Amber Boys, or you call them rest restoration forces and to them those of us in the diaspora those of us activists those of us out here who want to send a mighty congratulation to those who are back home as i'm talking now i'm receiving text messages that kumba is now burning with heavy machine gunshot in kumba yes because our boys are still out there trying to to to, to, to make sure that everything goes well so going forward the revolution tomorrow is monday which means that it is monday and it is traditional ghost towns everything continues everything continues we will continue to to do that until the world will ensure that la republic of cameroon sits on a dialogue table with us so that we sit on, on the same table and we can talk as equals talk on the terms of separation so whatever happens in cameroon whatever happens in cameroon it is the business we, we don't care i don't care if it is probably who stole the elections i don't care if tomorrow they go out in their numbers to protest we don't care we don't care about that but we are observing we are observing the situation because we know you see do you know why and um, Democrats in USA, they are very mad that Russia intervened, intervened in the US elections. You know, as, as, as people that we are, we are separate countries, we, if we have a way to, to interfere, to cause an uproar in, in, in La Republic, who will largely do that? Because when there is an uproar in La Republic, what happens? They will need more forces. They will need more forces. That will mean that more forces in Amazonia, we have to leave Amazonia to La Republic to, 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 uh, to, to continue. So, we hope, we hope. But, they say, the Bible says that each nation, it is a, each, each people deserve their leaders. I think La Republic deserves Paul Bia. They deserve Paul Bia. They deserve him for, 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 uh, for another seven years. But the people of Amazonia, we have shown that we do not need, we do not need Paul Bia. We have shown that we do not need Cameroon. That is why we have taken upon ourselves to ensure that for the first time in, since 1961, this generation has shown it since 2018. This that we call ourselves the never again generation, we have shown it since 1961. We have made our parents proud. We have made our mommies proud. We have made our daddies proud. We have made Chief Late Chief Ayaba proud. We have made Albert Mukon proud. We have made all those SNC fathers who have gone before us proud. We have made all those people of the NCNC who were jailed in Boya, jailed in Bameda, jailed in Yaoundé, all those families 
whom your parents died because of SCNC, today again we have made you proud. We have made their Kwangas. We have made their Yabase. We have made all those who have been in the for, for 20 years. Today again, this generation, the never again generation, we have made you proud. When you were out, our dads and mommies, we were still kids. We were in kindergarten. We were in Form 1. We were in, maybe still in nursery school. We knew nothing. We sang the national anthem of Cameroon. We, we, we wore the red, is it green, green, red, and, and yellow? Is it green, yeah, green, red, and yellow Cameroon uh, uh, flag? You see? And even the color of the flag is off me now. It's off me. I'm doing the only blue and white. No, we have done that. We went, we, we match, match, match. But today, today, we have continued to, 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 to prove those who were before us proud. Therefore, Ndojintas, the 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 Ebons, the Molan George all the older generation today we have again made them proud. We have again made them proud and to, and by our actions we're going to tell them that they should forgive us. We forgive us that we are sorry that we never listened to them. But it is never too late. Like the always thing is said, never too late to be conscious. It is Never too late to make up your mind. It is never too late to be sure of yourself. It is never, never too late. It is never too late to be an Amazonian. It is never too late to join the winning team. It is never too late to be on the side of justice. It is never, never too late for those federalists for those unionists, for those anglophones who are still very divided, for those our brothers and sisters in Amazonia who thought that by going out today to cast a vote, you are helping my brothers and sisters, you are failed. I am again pleading to you on your consciences to come over, to cross over, come and join the 98.99%, cross over, and it's never too late to cross over. We will forgive you. We will receive you because we are Anglo-Saxon. We are people that we are open. Our hearts are always open because we believe that we are a people. Together we are strong and we will be stronger. Yes, today you, some of you went out to, to vote. We don't realize that fact. But I will not come out here today to, to chastise you because the Lord has administered upon me that the fact that you went out to vote today has indirectly legitimized our claims for today unofficial referendum because it has it has it has it has shown that since 98.9 percent boycotted some two percent always go there are always people like that in every society and we must as anglo-saxon we must be, we must accept the fact that we have those type of persons in within our midst we must know the fact but the fact that majority of amazonians in a very overwhelming majority, have accepted today to boycott the elections. We may, we may, we may forgive, we may ignore those ones who have betrayed our revolution by going out to vote. They know themselves, I would call names. They know they will allow their consciences to, 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 to pick them for trying to give legitimacy to poor Bia, to Cameroon over Amazonia. Amazonia will be restored. It is a dream. It is an ideology that no one will kill. We will restore Amazonia. It will be sooner or later. Then we are saying that we are not dropping away our weapons. We are not dropping away anything. We are going to make sure we continue to fight. So fellow Amazonians who are on ground zero, I want to call upon you today. I want to thank you for doing what you have done. That from Manfe to Kumba, to Kumbo, to Kambe, to Jakiri, to Bamenda, to everywhere across Amazonia, today we as a people, we have again, we rose up today, today we, we have arisen as a people. Yes, we are, we are, and it's a day for us to, to rejoice. It's a day for us to each other, we hold each other's hands and say, Indeed, 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 we are, we are free. Indeed, indeed, today we are free. 
whatever concubinage, whatever illegal union that never was happened between us, today we as a people, we have shown BBC, we have shown CNN, we have shown Al Jazeera, we have shown the world that we are out. And we now tell the world that if they think that the people of Amazonia are not ready, are not ready to be free, we have challenged them to call for a referendum. We have challenged them to organize an official referendum in Amazonia. And as we have succeeded to stop these elections today, we are telling all those and the folks who are parliamentarians, who are mayors, who are sitting there hoping that in 2019 they are going to have their own elections, you have failed. You have now the opportunity, the opportunity as a parliamentarian in that Cameroon parliament, as a mayor in the Cameroon parliament, to cross over, cross over our parents, cross over our brothers, cross over our sisters, cross over our cousins, cross over, cross over. You have now the opportunity to cross over. We have given you the opportunity over and over. You have seen that even Paul Bia was afraid to go to Boya to campaign. You have seen how all the political parties boycotted largely any campaigns in Amazonia. So, those of you MPs from Anglophone Cameroon or from Amazonia, those of you mayors from this part, if you think that 2019 will be a year for you to go for campaigns, now, let me not tell you that we are not getting tired. We are not getting tired because we are only getting started. With the idea now, listen, with the idea now of county by county, now counties are now beginning to group themselves. Those of us from the we, Manu, Momo, honestly, they are grouping themselves. You should be aware now, now, what is happening now is that there is another phase. And this, the, the, the new phase now is that counties are coming together. They are grouping themselves, bringing counties chairman, forming counties self-defense council, making funds and for them to be very effective. Listen, the people of Amazonia are not coming together in their counties to fall back. They are not coming together to allow you to take over. You have no idea. Be rest assured that even if it takes us 10 years, 5 years, we are going to continue to make sure this revolution continues until the time that we may have hosted a flag in Boya. And as counties begin to fall, as they are already showing, the signs are already there. You've seen counties will start falling before you start knowing. It will start falling. Already, LGS have fallen. We have seen LGS. We have seen communities. We have seen blocks which has fallen. Now we have succeeded to make everything, everything to be ungovernable. Going forward, we are now grouping ourselves in various counties, county self-defense council, counties local administration, counties all this way. This is to tell you that the people of Amazonia are not doing this because they want to fall back. No, no, no. The diaspora is not getting tired. The diaspora is getting tired. When I am tired and I am back, sitting back, Eric Tato will be ahead. When Tato is tired and sitting back, Yannick Sikot will be ahead. When Yannick is tired and sitting back, Prince Jekka will be ahead. When Prince Jekka is tired and back, um, Kapo will be ahead. Or when Kapo is tired and sit back, Tapa will be ahead. Or Akoso. You see, we are not getting tired. In fact, we are just starting. We are just starting. You should tell me that since 2016, we are not tired. So, all the ones who are all those who are liable, who are now calling to talk about federation, all those who are still unionists, be rest assured that we are not getting tired. This October has come and passed. Those who sat in Cameroon or in Olympic, they thought that, hey, there will be an election in Amazonia. But we have shown you what we call people's power. We have shown you what social media can do. We have shown you what the guns can do. We have shown you what unity can do. Because despite our perceived differences, despite the insults on the media, we as a people have been able to show unity in purpose. We have been able to show unity in our vision for Amazonia. We have been able to rise up from our useless arguments. We have been able to rise up from our arguments and insults on the media. But we have been able to stay focused on the price. Because we know that when we lose Amazonia, everyone loses. We, when we lose Amazonia, all of those, all of us, those in diaspora, we become useless. But there is no way Mark Barretta will become useless because we must get Amazonia. 
It is either we have Amazonia or we make life hell. Yes, it is either we have Amazonia or life in Amazonia for land for people will be hell. So you will succumb to give us Amazonia or you will live a life of hide and seek in Amazonia like you live. Yes, all you Dios, SDOs, administrators, we have said, listen, we, you see, we are saying, if you don't give us, you see, you must give us. You will bow, you will bow. Now, we are doing those things and we, we, we begin to weaken you. We have weakened you in the LGs. We have weakened you in your councils. We have weakened you in your SGO's offices. Now you hide elsewhere and come to work. That is just the first step. But you should be reassured that this today, the actions of our forces, the actions of our people on the 1st of October has given us another reason to push on. And today's total boycott, despite the fact that some police stations open, we have to, you know, we want to be truthful. We accept, as I told you, we accept, we accept. It is good for us. It's good for us. If, if we had all police stations closed or people going out, it was very bad, but we accept the fact that some will open. We accept. We will not. We will not. We will not, we will, we will not say no. We accept. So, be very careful. So, we are sending an olive branch to all anglophone parliamentarians. What again do you have? CPDM parliamentarians, LZF parliamentarians, and those who are mayors. What again do you need to tell Cameroon that it is over? What again? Listen. The people of Amazonia, we have made the job very easy for you. We have given you MPs and all of you good talking points. We have made the job very easy for you. If your own party, the SGM and so, if they cannot campaign in Amazonia, will they campaign in 2019 for MP selection? No way. So we have given you a lot of talking points. Now, can you for once now call on the Weeper and apologize? Can all of you for once now, the SDF that you have been disgraced, you see? The SDF, let me not address you. You knew from the start that your stronghold is Amazonia. There is everywhere in the world, every political party has stronghold. You see, Trump, you know, I always take Trump as a model to explain things. Explain things. You have seen Donald Trump. Donald Trump knows his base. Donald Trump knows his base. And Donald Trump will not do anything anything to alienate his base. When you are a politician or an activist, you must know your base. But the SDF refused to recognize her base. Her base is under front Cameroon. But the SDF went out there and said, the SDF is not an Anglophone party. No, no, no. The SDF is an Anglophone party. You have to accept it. It is because it was originally created to defend and protect the rights of the peoples of former British serving Cameroons. The SDF, you, you, you knew that in normal time, in normal time without this crisis, Anglophone Cameroon would have given you majority of the vote. Then you cannot fight now in, in La Republic to, to, to get the vote. But you refuse to recognize the fact that your people are suffering. And you went for the elections, you have been disgraced. You have been walloped. Today, you have, today your name has been buried. The SDF has been buried. And the SDF will not even exist in Amazonia anymore. It will not even exist in Amazonia because you have shown your people. I told you before now, I said, the best thing, all of you politicians, all of you who are from Anglophone extraction, the best thing you can do is that when your people are in war and you know that it will be impossible to vote, you should have come and come up as Anglophone politicians and say, Mr. Popia, we want to go for the elections, but we will not go. We, we will boycott the election because our people are there. Imagine that SZF before now boycotted, Muna boycotted, all of them said no. We want this issue to be resolved before any election. You would have been the heroes. And the Cameroon would have embraced you. That don't go out there and stand blaming us because I see some SF people they are trying to blame separatists. They are trying to blame Saddam. No, the people of Anglophone Cameroon they, are, they gave beyond the upper hand. No, 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 no. We do not give you the upper hand. You have betrayed us. And today, 
Maurice came to an arrest. They have destroyed you, the SDF. They have taken you to the back seat. Small Cabril, Cabril. They have destroyed you. They have shown you that you are you are nothing. Because why? Because you ignore your 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 your, 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 your constituency. Your constituency is under from Cameroon. Like it or not, that is your home base. That is where your power is. No politician rejects his home base. That is why even in USA, in everywhere in the world, politicians or MPs, when they vote them, they will always keep aside party politics and they will stand for what their constituents are saying. That's the type of politics one will bring in Amazonia, where no one will say, I am for this government. No one will say, no, I am standing for the people of Mbui like Wiba did. I am standing for the people of Mbui. When Wiba went out, he spoke from the authority that where he comes from, from Mbui County, where he comes from, this is not what his people want. And that's why today, even though Wiba stood for federation, he remains a hero because he used the power which the people of Mbui gave upon him to stand in parliament and said, this is not what my people wanted. But you of the SDF and the rest, you clamped on him, you tried to make him to be arrested. You insulted him. But today, the people of Amazonia, they have vindicated Honorable Wiba. Today, he is their hero. And we shall continue to, to raise him up. And may God bless Wiba wherever he is. That today, the people of Amazonia, we, they have vindicated you. We are people from Bui, from everywhere across the land today. They rose up to say, yes, Wiba. We heard your voice in parliament. Yes, we are. We indeed sent you to parliament to represent us. But you came back and said, you cannot because we are under marginalized. We have been tormented. The SDF is dead and finished. History will have to record the SDF that the SDF did not recognize its home, its constituency, which is Anglophone, Cameroon, or Amazonian. And going forward, in Amazonia, we will not recognize, if they don't change that name, the SDF, we are going to ban it for participating in an illegal election, for giving Pobia a legitimacy, for giving him a, 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 a claim over our land. We are going to ban it as we have banned the CPD, the, 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 the CPDM. Therefore, once a Muna, always a Muna. It changes nothing. Once a Muna, always, always a Muna. Oh, yes. People of Amazonia. This is what we have done. So we have sent an olive branch to all of these people who, who are there. And going forward, I am calling on all activists and all, all leadership that going forward, we must now focus on the prize like we have done today. Our able forces on ground zero, even those who went out today with their dead guns. You see, our boys today, they went out even with dead guns to fight. Not even with that, once they send one bullet out of the dead guns, they have to sit back and add another one to, to do. But they do that. Despite the fact that they don't have the real AKs, they do that. So therefore, I am calling on everyone that go back to your counties. Today, we are telling the, 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 the page. Go back to your counties and make sure you group yourselves in your various LGS in your counties to make sure you fund your counties and you fund your counties and prosecute this revolution. This is our call. This is our call. Going forward, we must, as a matter of fact, start keeping aside any identity. We must destroy politics of identity. Politics of identity, it has destroyed us. And one all of you out there who are Amazonians watching me to now speak to your consciences. We must destroy the politics of identity. Because, listen, when you now go back to your counties, you will see that you destroy the politics of identity. Because at that stage, you are not supporting your counties. Let me give you an example. In the Bui counties, you will be surprised that in the Bui counties, all the fighters there, they know themselves as Amazon fighters. Because we know Mbui people, they speak their dialect, they love to talk to their dialect. There in Bui County, we have two types of forces. We have ASC and ADF. 
that are there. If you go there, you wouldn't even know that there is ADF. You wouldn't even, even know that there is ASC. Because they are sharing the same camps. When they have g notes, they share among themselves. Because they know that their only enemy is like a public. They know that their only enemy is So when they have g notes, they share among themselves. When they have occasion, they crisscross from one edge uh, from Bwane to Tatum to Kumbo to Jakiri to Oku they crisscross among themselves and fight and defeat each other that is what the counties and counties will bring counties and counties will bring, will destroy the identity, the, the, this affinity, that this is my, my group, this is me, go back to your counties because I'm telling you that in Kumbo in Bui, where I come from, what I know and what I found out is that in Bui, all the fighters there, no one cares if it's ADF or ASC. No, no, no. They speak their local language. Those are people that have been Okada drivers. Those are people that they have lived together as one. So when you come and you tell them that you are ADF, you are ASC, or you are this, they tell you, shut up. We are Amazonian fighters. We are fighting for the flag. What do we reach to Boya? That is why when they have G-Nuts, they share amongst themselves. When they have food, they share amongst themselves. And People of Mbui must now rise up to support the Mbui County. And we must follow in the footsteps of Momo. We must follow in the footsteps of, 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 of Boyo. This is the, the, the and Fako. These are the main, main counties which are built, built up. Yes, I will soon join Manu County. Because I'm both from Manu and Mbui, and Mbui. So I will join both, both counties. Yes. So going forward, it's a new page. It's a new page. Since we have destroyed this day as a new page, we cannot keep staying on the same spot. We must stand around the revolution. And how can we do it? Because why do we fight on Mesa? We fight because this one says, I am this. I am loyal to this. Good politics and identity is very dangerous. We are all Amazonian first. When we destroy good politics and identity, then we will succeed hugely. And how can we destroy good politics? It's for us to go back to our counties. It is not tribalism. Because even people who are based in that county, who are in that county, can, can fight. Please listen. This idea of that people fighting in the county doesn't mean that if you are based in Kumbo and originally you have a Manu, doesn't mean that you should go back to, to Manu. No. It means that where you are born and bred, you stay there and fight there. There are many soul people who are in Boyo fighting. They are not from Boyo. There are many soul people who are in a Momo fighting. They are not from Momo. There are many soul people who are in, in, in Fako fighting. They are not from, from, from Fako. So, the idea of counties, the idea of us coming together in our counties, doesn't mean that if you are based in front of Meme and you are a sort of Manu, not even if you, you go to Manu and fight, no. It means that where you are born and bred, because as Amazonians, you have the right to live and stay anywhere in the land. We have the right to live and fight anywhere in the land. So therefore, wherever you were born and bred, or wherever you, you, you see that, that is where you, you can really fight to, to effect. Stay in your counties and fight. No matter your tribe. No matter your tribe. But the idea is that generally, generally, People who come from, from, from the same counties, they will understand each other. For example, in Meme, Meme is a Kumba. Kumba is cosmopolitan. In Kumba, we have people from different, different tribes. And I'm talking about this, all Kaitan boys, they, they know themselves. Those who grew up in Kumba, who grew up in Kumba, and they have stayed in Kumba, Fiango, Metapatas, they went to Kas Kumba, they went to St. Francis, they went to Gong Kusula. All of us, we, we know ourselves, despite the fact that we come from different, different areas. But if they say today it is Meme County, we have to, we have to go there. If you, are, you, you have to go there and make sure you are part of Meme County and support. There are many of us also in Mutengene. Mutengene, but we are not from there originally. You have to go to Fako and support. So, it is not tribalism. We have since the post to to, to to corner the issue and say it is no. It is not tribalism. Maybe some people understand it differently. It is not tribalism. We are evolving. It is not tribalism. The fact that wherever you are, stay there and fight. And anyone can leave one county and fight to and fight in, in, in the next. So but people should not say, no, you, you're not from the county, go. That is when it will be wrong. We cannot start saying, you are not from this county, go and fight your county. When we do that, it is wrong. And that, that one, I cannot support. It will, it's not possible. So we are saying, wherever you are born and bred, if I am, for example, if I am, if, if I was born in Kumba, me, Mark Baratia, I was born in Kumba. 
but I'm from I'm from uh, 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 Mbui and Manu. I've never lived in these two areas, but I've, I've been there for all the days and so so. So it means that I have the right now as my director to join Meme County and support, and I'll do it. So now me, in fact, I, I, I can join four counties because I see myself. I've lived in 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 in, in, in Fako in Boya for many many years. So I'm part of Fako County. I will join for cause and support. I have lived in, in Kumba for many of my years. I was born and bred there. Nursery and primary school in Kumba. I will join Meme County and support. But Kumba is where my father's, my, 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 my roots come from. Naturally, I must go there and support. Manu is where my, is where my mother comes from. Naturally, I will go there and support. Because it is that one, it is obligatory. I will do that. But the father I was born and raised in, in Kumba and belonged to Meme. The father I schooled in Boya for many years, more than 14 years, and I worked, I, I worked there. I taught in, in Mount Kabe College as a biology teacher. I taught in Sasse as a biology teacher. I have to stay also in Fako and support Fako County. That is the idea. That is what we have to do. When we do that, we destroy the idea of group identity. When we do that, we destroy the idea of loyalty to any individual, loyalty to any leader. We, our own loyalty remains and lies to the flag of Amazonia. So, fellow Amazonians, today, you have seen the success. The success of our struggle. Those fighting in Mato, in Mato and Kumba, they are not from, from Meme originally. Those are people who were born and, and, and bred there. So, we can't say, no, because you are not from Meme, don't fight in Mato. Or, no, 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 no. So, therefore, I'm calling upon you, all Amazonians, that today we have destroyed and we have given the world an unofficial referendum. So, what do we do going forward? We must turn the page. And how do we turn the page? I'm calling upon you to destroy the idea of group identity. Destroy the idea of loyalty. Whether groups exist or not. Whether they exist or not, but destroy the idea of loyalty. Let your loyalty lies only to the flag of Amazonia. And let us also respect those who have come before us. Like I've always said, we must learn to respect the Ayabas, the Akwangas, the Boas, and the rest. I do not subscribe to the politics of insult. I do not subscribe to the politics that when we disagree with these leaders, we go out of our way to insult them, to call them scammers, to call them thieves. I do not ascribe to that identity. I do not ascribe to that politics because we need everyone on board. That is why today I am now saying that I stand on a politically with Dr. Akwanga. I stand on a politically with Dr. Cho Ayeba. Two of them that we saw, the ADF and Sukadev, they collaborate and made Mato a very big win. Yes, and let us learn to also learn to appreciate, learn to learn, learn to understand the politics of war propaganda. La Republic does not come out and tell us all the truth. Chiroma doesn't come out and tell us all the truth. La Republic they also inflate numbers and they deflate, they deflate numbers. La Republic, La Republic will not tell the world the actual number of refugees who are being displaced in Nigeria. They will not tell the world the actual numbers of in Totally displaced. They will not tell the world the actual number of the houses that have been uh, 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 destroyed or those that they have, they have killed. La Republic will always hide their own numbers of those who have been killed. A war is not being won only on plainly truth. No. Let us put ourselves. A war is not won plainly on truth. A war is won also on what we call propaganda. Positive propaganda. Positive idea. So, I'm making this officially that I'm telling Dr. Joe Ayaba and Dr. and Dr. Akwana that Mark Barrett and platform, we stand with you and we salute your bravery, we salute your collaboration in Mato in what you did. Even if in Mato we had 70 soldiers who went down or 50 who went down, if Dr. Akwana comes live on TV on his face officially and declare that in Mato they, they, they send more than 150, how does that help us? How, how does that help us? If they killed 50 in Mato and the Dakota comes on TV and on his name and said, We have taken 150. How does that harm us? It doesn't harm us anyway. It, it causes fear and panic in the camp. It's part of war tactics. In, in the past, all everywhere in the world, people have done that. People have done that. So I do not 
I do not subscribe to the promises of insult, to the promises of that we bring those who are ahead of us down, we try to tarnish their integrity, their persons. I do not accept that. And that's why I'm saying every activist that is out there, we must be able to respect those who are before us, no matter their crime, no matter what they have done. Because we still need them, whether we like it or not, whether we go to our accounts or not, we need them, we need their counsel, we need their blessings, we need their good faith. When they are wrong, we'll call them out, but we'll call them out in a respectful manner. That is what makes us different from Labour Pig. That is what makes us different from this from 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 from, from this fake leaders. And that will make us for to admire our platform, admire our persons as the type of Amazonian we, we want to do. We must be able to, to disagree, but not disagreeable. And so today, Dr. Achua Yeba, if you are watching me, Dr. Akwanga is watching me, let us show that the people of Amazonia, we appreciate you, we salute you, we thank you for the bravery that your forces, the ADF and Sukadev in Mato, that they, that what they did, what they did in cooperation, because that is what we want to see. I, I do not see them as, as, as ADF or Sukadev. I see them as, as national forces. I see them as self-defense forces. I see them as other boys, people who are, who are fighting for their survival. They do not care. They are fighting for their survival. They want to, they want to help themselves. And they did a, a great job in Mato. In Mato. So when the Dakota comes out on the TV and announces that this number has been killed, we cannot come out on TV, try to say it's a lie, try to rubbish it, try to bring him down, and to say this, that, that, we don't need it on this particular day when we have a big, big victory. Because that, it, it, it doesn't hurt us, it, it doesn't kill us. The truth is that many, many land public fell down in Mato, more than 50, more than 70, it fell down. If we cannot say 150, 200, it's about food. What? How does that harm us? It doesn't harm us. It doesn't harm us. It doesn't harm us. So, we must also learn to play the politics of propaganda and try those which is beneficial to our cause. It, it doesn't mean that we should, we should come out and start lying about everything. No, no. But there is a lie in the revolution in war which is a, a good lie. There is a lie which is a good lie. The good lie which takes us ahead. A good lie. So you say a good lie. There's a lie. We call it the type of lie which is a propaganda very positive. And... That said, I wouldn't like to bother much on that, but I want to tell Dr. Chua Dr. Kwanga, where they are that we appreciate their collaboration. I will ask them that going forward, they may have heard everything the Pope said. We hope that they will, they, will, they will come to the fore. We hope that as our fathers, people who have been in history for, 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 for many years, they must recognize the, 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 the fact that majority of the people are standing with the interim government, come down themselves, see how they can force collaboration with the interim government, compromise, bring down, bring down certain long, long term or, or certain, some, 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 some point that they have been holding on. They can bring it down to ensure that we as a people, because that is what the people of Amazon want. And I'm hopeful and I pray God that we are we, 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 we should start seeing seeing uh, this type of actions. May God bless you, Dr. Akwanga. May God bless you, Dr. Cho Ayaba, and may God bless Ambassador and all our leaders because the success of today has been as a result of everyone from the interim government to all the groups to Ambazonians. It is the we the people. We the people today we have succeeded to tarnish the public. We have succeeded to expose them. We have succeeded in our block by block approach. Going to LJ by LJ, which is now very active, and now we are at the level of trying to regroup in our counties to set up a civilian administration, to set up a self-defense council that we can adequately, we can adequately fund it, we can adequately fund, and we have succeeded in doing to internationalize our revolution to make the world every media when I ever goes out there to 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 to, to, to talk. On, on, on the media, he does that for Amazonia, not for himself. When Akuna goes out on, on radio in South Africa and talks to the world, he does it for Amazonia, not for himself. When Chris Anu goes out there in Voice, in, in Voice of America and does that, he does it for, for Amazonia, not for himself. When the, the AIP goes out there on, on, on the media and talks, he does it, for, it is a collective effort. We need everyone. We need the bows. We need the Yabas, we need the Aquangas, we need the we need the, the, the Sakos, we need the Anus, 
We need everyone to come on board to ensure that we now consolidate this today new form victory. Today we have found a victory. How can we now consolidate our new form victory going ahead to ensure that we bring out Ayodhya Stabler, we bring out Tassan Wifred, we bring out Mancho BBC, we bring out Penterse, we bring out T. Conrad, we bring out Jotang, we bring out Passing Dango, we bring out Galim Felix, we bring out all those those who are in the jails in Boya, in Konengi, in Sed, in Dwala, and we as a people, how can we ensure that we can now upgrade the 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 gene of the, the sticks of our people on ground zero? That is what we have to do. And the best way we can do is for us to finally say today we bury the issue of identity, we bury the issue of loyalty, we now look more at the flag, we now look more at our consciences. You have to ask yourself. What you are doing now, how does it help us? What do you have to write on the media? What do you have to post? Will it make Amazonians to be querying among themselves? Will it give, make insults? Put an insult, you, you are fathead, scammer, thief, this. How would that help us? We have seen that the Republic, they have said, post-election are going to crush us. So, how are we preparing for post-election? How are we preparing for post-election? How are we preparing for post-election? So, we have to prepare. How much I prepare Bia says he is going to crush us. But when we stay together as a people, willing people, Bia cannot crush us. That is why today I have come today to give the message to appeal to you, Amazonians, to appeal to you, activists, to appeal to the poor Amazonian. We must calm down. We must calm down. We must bring ourselves down to the floor level and let our Lord Almighty, let him exhaust us. The Bible says, for those who bring themselves down, the Lord will rise them up. So I'm calling on Cho Ayaba, on Akwanga, on Bo Herbert, on Sako, on Chris and all these leaders, that we must bring yourself down for the Lord Almighty to exhaust you up. You must bring down certain hard line positions and compromise and allow it come together so that we can finish this game. Because the people of Amazonia, they have shown us over and over that we are winning. And for the fact that we have used just a year, not even a year, some months, we have used them guns, we have used our media, we have used social media, we have used Facebook, we have used WhatsApp to be able to stand against a regime of more than 50 years, to be able to stand against the subscribed machine guns, to stand against the millions that they have, to stand against the fact that they have diplomacy. But we, the people, with our limited resources, we, the people, have succeeded. As a people, not as Mark Barretta, not as Eric Tato, not as Ayeba. It is we, the people, we have succeeded. Those back home doing their bit, those in the diaspora doing their own bit. And when we continue to do our own bit, put it Amazonian first, we will realize that as any man is doing own bit, you know, all the fingers are not the same. You know, when the hand, the hand, when the left hand is not, the, the, the right hand cannot function very well. We need all the parts of the body. The eyes, the ears, the mouth, the nostrils, is the whole. When one part of the body suffers, the, the whole body suffers. So therefore, we need all the parts. We need all our soldiers out there. Those who have been arrested and kept in barracks, please, we are calling on the self-defense forces of the various camps to release them. Release them. Whether from Batibo, whether from Manu, whether from Falco, whether from Boyo, release them and let them go out. We are also calling on all self-defense groups. Now I will call on the indulgence of Chris Bongam, who is in Boyo. We call on you that you have the opportunity to ensure that whatever is happening in Boyo comes to an end from today. Please, there should be peace. Let peace reign in all the camps. We have only one enemy, and that enemy is like a public. Those small, small skirmishes in Boyo, small, small skirmishes in Batibo, today, please, just release anyone, any fighter who has gone against the rule, today, tell him that, 
today for the fact that we have we have won today you are being released then make sure you don't go about doing what you are doing today is a new day if you are an, an activist going forward tomorrow be a new type of activist be a new type of of, of, of of person be a new type of leader be a new if you are someone who donates today now you have to double your donation. If you donate five euro times six by two, you give ten euro. So let us today be, be renewed. Today was our baptism. Today we have been baptized. We have succeeded to baptize ourselves. We are going to something new. And we are telling the Republic, we are telling those who care that we will not give up. That the people of the diaspora will not give up. That those back home shall not give up. Because when we give up, we are dead. When we give up, we have finished. We have as a duty as a people to ensure that we see the end game. So today's success, today's victory is a victory for those who have gone before us. Mark for the sign of faith. It's a victory for Ayob Julius Tabet. It's a victory for his family. It's a victory for Tessan Wifel and his family. It's a victory for Mancho. It's a victory for, for Ben Terence. It's a victory for Patrick Dango. It's a victory for Galen Felix. It's a victory for Dr. Ngala. All those who are in jail, it's a victory for them. And all those who have seen their loved ones die, today we have officially said, we want no more. Who are no more, and we have shown it. So my appeal is that please go back to your counties. It takes one. It takes one to start it. Go back to your counties, to your LGS, come together as one and start funding your counties heavily. Fund it heavily and fund it directly to ensure that any group which operates within that county fund. Do not care about whether groups come from fund because when you fund them, you are funding Amazonia, you are funding the revolution. So do not care about, say, this group in this county is this, that, no, no, no. Don't care about any group identity. Don't care about this. Raise the money. Identify all groups in the county and fund them. Get g nuts, get medications, get food, and give it out. And give it out. So I will also turn all those in Amazonia, in the villages, in communities who are out there providing food stuff, providing medications for our Amber Boys. Today we hail you, we thank you, and we say may God bless you, may God replenish your pockets, make that we ensure that despite the hard times we are going through, may the Lord continue to fertilize our land so the farmers who are going to farm our land, that may the blood of all those who have died in our land, let our land not be barren at this time. We must pray that the blood of all those that continue to spill on our land, let that blood make our land to flourish so that our land will produce more fruit. We produce more food. Let our land not be barren. Let the blood cry on to our Lord to ensure that the blood of all those who have been massacred left and right, let that blood nourish our land so that at least we will have food stuff to keep this fight going. That is our duty. That is our call. So help us God. Fellow Amazonians, thank you very much for joining this show. This show will be ending within the next few minutes, but I thank you for joining me. I thank you for being part of us. I have given the message. The Lord, I said, I am a messenger. When I come live, I don't always come prepared. I don't always come prepared, but as I'm talking, the Lord always minister to me, and I just will flow. You see, when I talk, I don't stop. I don't think because the Lord just speaks to me, and I just flow. So I am a messenger. So I have given you, take, the Bible says that, when the Lord came, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ said he needs 12 messengers, 12 disciples. Those 12 disciples, when they, 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 they multiplied the word of God, they went out into the world to Thessalonians, to Babylon, they went out to the world to preach the gospel of the, of the Lord. So those who are watching me, if you believe in what I'm saying, if you believe that what I'm saying is right and is good for revolution, please, Take this out to your platforms. Take this out to your WhatsApp groups. Take this out to your families. Take this out to your Jagir groups. Take this out to your county. Go out there and preach the message of love, of oneness and unity. Go out there and preach the message of dignity, the message of to respect one another. Because that is how we are going to, 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 we are going to, to, to succeed. So thank you very much. And I thank the Lord Almighty for giving me this platform to be able to come out here. And I call upon you that do not bother about anything happening in the Republic. Whatever happens there, 
does not concern us, but we are vigilant, we are watchful, we are looking because we know that the political action of the Republic, in one or the other, directly or indirectly affects Amazonia. That we are watching, that we are hoping. But what we know is that when we stay together united, when we stay together as one, when we go to our counties, when we fund them, therefore, no action in the Republic will be able to torpedo our actions in Amazonia because. They say, Vox Populi, Vox Day. The people of Amazonia today, they have spoken. They have spoken, they have truth, they, they have spoken truth to power. Yes, and today, they are again endorse and cement our relationship, both home and the diaspora. Thank you very much for staying on, on this show, and may God bless you. If you are back home watching, take care of yourself, put your own security and safety first, because we need any one of you alive. If you are out there watching, take care of yourself. Avoid any Cameroonese meeting, any Cameroon gathering. Be you with your Amazonians. Be your community of Amazonians that preaches love, that preaches oneness, that preaches to, 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 together. Because believe, <coughs> believe that we are going, we are going to be free. Believe, because I believe strongly that we, we are a free people. That we are only free in the spiritual realm, and we will, we will be free. We we we, we will be free. <coughs> we, we will be free. In uh, uh, we will be free. Excuse me. Ah. So, thank you, thank you very much for, thank you very much for uh, staying, thank you very much for, for staying, for staying with, with us, and may God bless you. Now, the whole message is that, go back to your LGS. The LGS are within the, the county. When you, when you fund, but the fight now is in the LGS. When you fund your LGA, you are indirectly funding the county. But we must group ourselves on the basis of counties by counties. So go out there and preach here the word. And uh, may God bless you. May God bless. May God bless Amazonia. Stay well. And see you tomorrow. Record that tomorrow is ghost towns. Everything continues. Bye-bye. God bless you.